The Gerber Big Rock. This price is about $40, but online you can find it for $20 to $25, which is a really good price for a knife of this sort. It comes with a nylon sheath with a protective insert that's going to protect your sheath from the blade when you pull it out and put it in. It comes with what I would call a well-positioned thumb release. Okay, so when you grasp the handle, you can release the thumb. Now the overall length of this knife is 9.4 inches with a weight of 6.3 ounces. And as you can see this knife is dirty looking marked up. It's got stuff stuck to it and for me that's a good thing. That means that I use this knife. Okay? That's a real good thing. You don't want to buy a knife that you're not going to use unless it's a collectible. So to see a knife in this shape for me is good. Now, I'm going to clean it up a little bit and talk about it a little more. Okay, I rubbed the sponge on it, cleaned it up a little bit, and you can see no corrosion. Even though I left it dirty, left it in the sheath for a few days, no corrosion. Now, I could have left it in there for weeks or even months and had no problem with corrosion. And that's because it's a 440A stainless steel. Now, I realize a lot of people don't like 440 stainless steels, or stainless steels at all for that matter. And that's because they are low in the high carbon range. This is a low end in the high carbon, but it is a high end in corrosion resistance and that works for many of my applications because I'm often around water in damp situations or in situations where my knife gets dirty messed up and I'm going to leave it for a while. The drop point blade is four and a half inches long and it does have a blade choil before the handle. The handle is a textured soft grip and it does have jimping set in the steel on the top of the blade for your thumb as well as a choil for your finger on the bottom with a small finger guard. On the rear it does have a large lanyard hold which I found beneficial to me because the grip of the knife for me it was fine in this direction but the width was a little bit thin for me but because I had a nice size lanyard hold that could accommodate 550 power cord I was able to wrap this handle which gave me the benefit of a thicker grip as well as the benefit of carrying power cord with me which can be useful for gripping my knife as well as having power cord or cordage along with me in my journeys. Just some bone here for you. Get this focused. As you can see it's flaking right into the bone with no problem. does take a nice edge with no problem. It probably will dull quicker than some knives, but it will take a nice edge, a nice service edge. It's a very hard piece of oak. Okay, so for me this is a great all-around general purpose knife for the hunter, the fisher, the camper, etc, etc, the outdoorsman. Now I wasn't sure I was going to like this knife because obviously it's a different shaped knife than what I was used to. I'm used to more of a knife shaped like a Buck 119 or the Cold Steel SRK or the Frost Mora or as you can see my homemade knife. I'm used to knives kind of shaped like that. You can see this is obviously different. It's got a much wider blade. This is a great knife to have. You use it for a while, you get used to it, and I actually prefer taking this out in the field over some of my other knives. Of course, it all depends on the situation. I have different knives for different situations, and that's what I recommend for people. Find knives that work for you in your different situations and learn how to use them in those applications and you'll be happy with your knife. Anyway, happy trails.